ecstatic to have you join our community of Ghost Hunter. Located on the desk is a laptop that you can access your personal HQ. The equipment, check the wall for the contract. You can visit introducing the the heck. Welcome to your instructional tour of the cleanse contract. Before we get started, you want to familiarize yourself with your mobile base. First up is the equipment crate. Go ahead and walk up to it, then interact with it using the left mouse button. It's worth noting that the left mouse button is used primarily to interact with objects in the world. Inside the crate you'll find a variety of different equipment that is used to help in your journey of identifying the ghost characteristics and favorite room. To close the crate, you can press the escape key. It's time to talk about the Spectral Affixer Crate. In its deployed state, this item is the key component in cleansing the contract location. But we'll get more into that a bit later. This item is heavy and requires both hands to carry. Normally the Affixer is fully charged before starting a contract. However, the one you have now needs a bit more juice. With the affixer in your hands, walk up to the charging station and interact with it. The charging progress can be monitored on the LCD screen. The affixer can be removed at any time, however it's best to wait until it's fully done charging. This is to avoid insufficient battery status. While in the contract, you have access to your personal TOS cell phone. Go ahead and look at it now. The cell phone can serve many purposes. The most useful is its flashlight. This can provide a light source while you use your equipment in your other hand. Keep in mind that ghosts are generally attracted to energy emitted by the light. The phone has some applications that can be quite useful, as well as a heart rate monitor. Ghosts feed off anxious hunters, so it's wise to keep your heart rate under control. Take a moment and familiarize yourself with the phone's interface now. Great! Now you should be familiar with your mobile base and cell phone. Next, we'll learn about the characteristics that you'll be searching for. EMF stands for electromagnetic fields that emit wave energy. The higher the EMF reading, the higher the evidence level. It's worth noting that the reading will be consistent regardless of range to the source. Go ahead. Thermal evidence is a detection of lower than ambient temperatures. The lower the temperature, the higher the evidence level. We've noticed that a ghost's favorite room will get much colder as activity increases. However, don't be fooled by cold spots that can appear. Thermal evidence is a... Ultraviolet stains are markings left from a ghost. The markings require the use of ultraviolet light to become visible. These stains can sometimes be hard to spot. However, the general rule is, the easiest to spot, the higher the evidence level. Using the LED ultraviolet flashlight, 
You can use the samples provided to different... Ther Thermal evidence is a detection of lower than ambient temperatures. The lower the temperature, the higher the evidence level. We've noticed that a ghost's favorite room will get much colder as activity increases. Radiation, also known as spectral radiation in the paranormal community, manifests as fluctuations in ambient radiation levels. While the levels aren't directly harmful, higher radiation amounts indicate a higher evidence level and caution should be exercised. The radiation energy is emitted from the source of the ghost interaction. This means a radiation strength will be greater. The writing evidence involves mysterious inscriptions or symbols appearing on a blank surface. The types of inscriptions have been categorized into levels for easy identification. The, ri the writing evidence involves mysterious inscriptions or symbols appearing on a blank surface. The audio evidence encompasses any unusual sounds captured that indicate a ghostly presence. Such auditory clues are often captured by electronic devices with prompts from the ghost hunt. The audio, the audio evidence encompasses any unusual sounds captured that indicate a ghostly presence. Such auditory clues are often captured via electronic devices with prompts from the ghost hunter, such as hello or can you give me a sign. Located on the table are some recording devices with sound samples that were Now that you have learned about all the different types of evidence, interact can with move on to the first special equipment of the client's contract, level. the special affixer. The primary use of the spectral affixer is to bind the ghost characteristics. A characteristic is defined as an evidence type in the highest recorded level of that evidence. During an investigation you may encounter various evidence levels, however, we only care about the highest levels. Once you feel that you've determined the correct characteristics, you can enter them into the affixer. If enough characteristics are entered correctly, and the affixer is in the ghost's favorite room, the scan should succeed. Although, if the scan fails, the energy emitted can cause the ghost to become agitated and hostile. In order to function properly, the spectral affixer must first be set up. Go retrieve the crate that we charged earlier. Ideally, the spectral affixer should be set up in the ghost's favorite room. But for now, you can deploy it on the green tarp. Using the affixer involves typing commands into its interface. While it may seem daunting at first, it's actually quite simple. Let's start by typing help and pressing enter. When you are finished in the help section, type commands, then press enter. This can be used to understand the various prompts the device can accept. The affixer comes with predicting text to help validate user input in rapid entry. Take some time and experiment with the different commands and familiarize yourself with using the device. Once you feel comfortable, try entering in any two or more evidence types with an associated characteristic level and then conduct a scan. If you enter in a wrong evidence level, you can just retype the correct information and it will override what was previously entered into the device. You can always type list to see what characteristics you currently have.
You'll notice under normal circumstances, the color of the light that's emitted by the affixer is blue. If a yellow light is present, the scan has been halted and you will need to initiate another scan. With a successful scan, a cleanse contract is mostly complete and you can return to the headquarters if desired. To earn more rewards, you can stick around to fully cleanse the location by finding the bound items, which you will learn about next. Ethereal artifacts are objects that are bound and often symbolic to the identity of the ghost. These artifacts can be difficult to spot. The Ethereal Artifact Locator, also known as the Eel, is an entry-level detector that will glow brighter when you are in close proximity of an artifact. After you've discovered the artifact, simply pick it up. Go ahead and pick up the eel now to see how it functions. Keep in mind the examples on the table cannot be removed. Great! Now that you are familiar with your mobile base, the evidence equipment, and the special equipment, you can move on to cleansing this house. The ghost is known to be non-violent, so you should be okay. Happy hunting!